What is up guys, so some more news about the Batwoman Arrowverse 2018 crossover has come out. What we know so far, before I tell you guys the news, is that one, Batwoman is going to be in the crossover, be introduced, and that might lead to a TV show. The TV show is currently, is currently in development. Two, the crossover is actually set in Gotham City. And three, the new news we know about the crossover is that it is actually going to be only three episodes on Arrow the Flash and Supergirl Legend of Tomorrow will not have an episode in the crossover similar to Invasion where they had only three episodes and then they went up to four episodes in Crisis on Earth X but maybe that didn't work out so well because they're going back to three. This is not to say the Legends won't appear in the crossover, they still might, but the crossover will only be three episodes and the Legends or Legend of Tomorrow will not have an episode on their show. To me, I think this is both good news and bad news. It's good news because I would I would much prefer a more focused storyline and more focused team for the uh, crossovers. And like last time, Crisis on Earth X, it was a lot of superheroes, and it felt a little disjointed because of it. Like none of the superheroes like stood out or anything, in my opinion, for the most part. So I would much prefer a more focused team. And the removal of the legends from the crossover definitely makes it more. Focus, considering they are their own superhero team by themselves. So the Arrowverse crossover team, like the Justice League of the Arrowverse, could disclude them. It could, like, in theory. So the fact that they're doing this doesn't really bother me that much. Also, the reason this might be good news, the reason they're going, the fact that they're going back to three episodes might actually be good news, is that on Crisis on Earth X, it was four whole episodes, and that might have been a little too much because this crossover had... Just a little bit too much character drama, and when I say too much, I mean it completely ruined the crossover. It went from being, because of the character drama and what happened at the end of the crossover, it went from being the best crossover by far just because of what it was trying to do and what it actually accomplished, to being just not as good as Invasion in my opinion because it was so, it just had so much character drama, and if they squeeze all of that, all of the action and story and everything else that just discluding the character drama into three episodes, it works so much better so that's two reasons why it could be good news the only bad news from this is that it means the legends won't appear in the crossover which means they probably will have less interaction with the arrowverse if not no interaction at all considering that the last year of the arrowverse had like zero mini crossovers throughout the season there were like a couple characters who crossed over but for the most part there weren't any mini crossovers like world's finest or duet between the flash and uh, supergirl so it's possible that they're not going to interact with the arrowverse at all this season which kind of sucks because the whole point of an interconnected universe is for the uh, characters to connect like interconnectivity but what this news kind of makes me want to make a video about is the crossover or the arrowverse characters who should appear in the 2018 crossover in my opinion i think this should be a more focused crossover I think it will be because they went from uh, aliens to other earths from Nazis from other earths and I'm pretty sure they said that there's really nowhere you could go from there but like down and they're going more they're going more lower stakes and a much more focused team and a much more focused narrative so I think the team should be smaller I think everything should be smaller from or in this crossover and it's really it feels like it's just going to be an introduction to Gotham City and Batwoman as well as obviously all the characters from the Arrowverse coming Together, but what I'm going to do is take three characters from every show and not including characters from Legends of Tomorrow because they're not getting an episode, so they're probably not going to appear. So just three characters from Arrow, three characters from The Flash, and three characters from Supergirl. Also, every single character on this list, except for one, adds their own thing, like their superpowers or ability. There's one character who does have the same superpowers as another character, but that's just because I really want to see that character in the crossover. Like, I don't care whether or not. I'm just going to get over. I'm going to get to that later in the video. But characters like Arsenal or Nora Allen, who duplicate the powers or personality, not personality, the powers or abilities of another character who I would love to see them appear, but not as much as, not so much that I would make it less diverse in terms of powers and abilities. So, Arsenal and Nora Allen characters like that will not appear in this crossover but I would still like to see them maybe as like lesser roles and minor roles but I will like to focus on three characters from, from each show from Arrow of the Flash and Supergirl as well as Batwoman so speaking of Batwoman the characters we know so far who will appear are one Batwoman because she was confirmed and two Supergirl the Flash and Green Arrow because they were also confirmed in a poster first obviously it's a given that those three characters are going to appear they are the faces 
of this universe but it was obviously confirmed with this poster and for the rest of the video it's going to go over the six characters who should appear or should be on the justice league if that's what we want to call them in the next arrowverse crossover or really the 10 characters excluding the ones who are already confirmed green arrow the flash supergirl and batwoman Starting with characters from Arrow, really the characters, there are a lot of characters from Arrow to choose from, namely the ones I'm not going with, Spartan, Wild Dog, and Arsenal. Arsenal I would love to see in the crossover, but he's just not at the top of my list. The character who is at the top of my list is Black Canary, aka Dinah Drake. Obviously that's besides for Green Arrow, aka Oliver Queen. But Black Canary, the thing that she would add to the Justice League in terms of powers is obviously her Sonic Cry. Nobody else on the Justice League has powers like that. Also her fighting ability would like not a lot of characters on this Justice League have like hand to hand combat. Other characters are like Green Arrow and Batwoman, but I think like it would be pretty cool to see her as well. Apparently Laura Lance from Earth 2 is also becoming Black Canary this season, so that's a possibility as well. But I would prefer Dinah Drake from Earth 1 just because I feel like she's a slightly better character and she would be a great fit on the Arrowverse Justice League, the one that will appear in this crossover. The second or third rather character from Arrow I'm going with is actually it depends on what happens in Arrow Season 7. There's been a lot of speculation that Ted Cord will be introduced this season going off of a character breakdown who the name wasn't released but the character definitely does fit Ted Cord. and if that is Ted Cord and he already gets his costume or like his suit if he has a suit before the crossover and he's already on Team Arrow or at least like buddy buddy with Team Arrow before the crossover then I would definitely go with Blue Beetle. I would love to see Blue Beetle in the Arrowverse and if he's appearing then I would love to see him on this Justice League just in terms of like what he would add in terms of personnel uh, in terms of powers and abilities everything that his suit can do. I feel like he would be a little bit similar to the Atom but they could obviously do a lot of things with that with the Blue Beetle suit that they couldn't do with the Atom suit even though it would be a little bit more costly if they're going with the Jaime Reyes costume but if Blue Beetle is not being introduced this season or if he's not going to become Blue Beetle before the crossover then I would go with Mr. Terrific namely only because his uh, ability his uh, his uh, his uh, T-spheres add a lot in terms of abilities and powers so I would go with him over characters like Spartan and Wild Dog because they just have guns and that's so boring especially in like big fight scenes with superhero teams like Team Arrow or the Justice League of the Arrowverse and not Arsenal because I would love to see him but he doesn't add much in terms of ability because there's already an archer like I said. So moving on to characters from the Flash the two characters who should appear in this crossover are well, first of all, the characters who are not appearing, the only superhero who actually has her powers right now or has their powers right now, who is in right now and actually a superhero, or at least they probably will be, is Nora Allen, because Killer Frost lost her powers, whether or not she'd be a superhero or not. She definitely was on the team in the last crossover, but she lost her powers, so that just leaves the Flash, Elongated Man vibe, and Nora Allen. The reason I'm not going with Nora Allen, I said this earlier, is because there's already a speedster here, so it doesn't add much in terms of abilities and powers. Although I would like to include her just because um, this the there are only three guys. This is the only show that no women would come over from this uh, list, which I would like to add Nora because of that, but she doesn't add any powers because she doesn't add any abilities to the team, so I would go with Elongated Man and Vibe over Nora even though again I would love to include her I would love to include her or Arsenal but I for some reason I'm really limiting myself to 10 characters total because I think it should be a more focused team so I'm not going to include those two characters so the characters from the flash that I would include are Elongated Man and Vibe. Moving on to Supergirl and the characters I'm not including from Supergirl there are actually a lot of characters like a lot of superheroes from Supergirl who have never met the Arrowverse or should appear in a crossover like uh, Brainiac 5, I'm not including him because he wouldn't add much in terms of the, his power set and like in fight scenes or the rest of the Legion because one, there's just too many characters to choose from and they're not really appearing this season so they probably won't appear in the crossover and three are not, there's a lot of characters, there's Guardian who I'm not including because he's not a very good character then the character they're introducing this season named Agent Liberty who is a character I've never heard of Apparently is a character from the comics and they're introducing him so there's that as well. But the two characters I'm going with are Martian Manhunter because just because he would be awesome to see teaming up with the rest of the Arrowverse and the one character who does duplicate the powers of another character and that is Superman. 
And that's the one character I'm making an exception for in terms of characters who do duplicate the, the powers of another character just because I don't really care. I want him to appear so badly. It's crazy that he hasn't appeared yet. That goes The same thing goes for Martian Manhunter, really. Like, it's crazy. These two characters have yet to really appear in a big crossover event. Superman's never appeared in a crossover at all. He's never appeared outside of Supergirl, which is so, so lame. It's something that really actively of like annoys me about the Arrowverse is that characters like Superman and Martian Manhunter just don't appear. Like They're huge DC characters who are just left behind. It really pisses me off. So I don't care if he duplicates the powers of Supergirl. Really, he came first in like comics, obviously. So um, he basically she duplicates his character his powers i guess but uh i don't really care in that respect so those are the 10 characters who i think should be on the arrowverse crossover justice league in this year those characters are green arrow the flash supergirl batwoman black canary blue beetle or curtis holt depending on what happens in arrow season 7 or blue beetle or mr terrific um elongated man vibe superman and martian Manhunter, let me know what your team would be in the comments down below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video, and thanks for watching.